Welcome back, welcome back. We are in conversation with Paul Holes, the New York Times bestselling author of Unmask, his page-turning memoir that chronicles his 27-year career as a cold case investigators. And just to take you all, sometimes I know you watch TV and you wonder if there's these big rooms with cold case boxes. It literally, as a reporter, I go and I'm like, this is real? I thought it was like CSI. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> there are cold cases. And as you open the boxes, to Paul's point, there's someone's shoe. There was, you know, a bike. I once remember seeing a bike because the, the victim was killed and they, that was the only evidence that was left and they dusted the bike. And so these, these cases sit there hoping that someone can open them right. and give us a name and, and, and ultimately justice. Something that's in the news lately, Paul, the Ohio missing children, um, there are these reports, headlines that we've been seeing that missing children in Ohio, stories claim that there are more than 1,000 kids reported missing in Cleveland so far this year and nearly 50 just last month. Authorities in Ohio have been pushing back against the coverage, calling it misleading and accusing the media of sensationalism. What is going on there? Because these are the headlines, but then I see little pictures of children. So those children are real. What's going on here? No, absolutely. You know, it's hard to say from just the numbers, but, you know, law enforcement will have decades worth of data on this. And what is causing this anomaly now is my big concern. Yeah. So that's where law enforcement really needs to tease out the details. Is this some sort of administrative error that's happening? Or do you have something that is happening underneath, you know, that just started up? Right. So it's really digging into the details of, of these right, because numbers. Because people see a headline, like I did, thousand kids, they say, and then you start to see all these little pictures of kids from all different backgrounds, all different races. And I'm like, well, these well, are real people. The, what the, yeah, you know, and, and, and what we what we see within law enforcement, of course, there are kids that are runaways. Yeah. They they come back, okay. they run away again. And sometimes law enforcement is updated when the kid comes mm -hmm. back to the family and sometimes they're not. So they are still missing. missing. But you also have concern is is, you know, nowadays the the uh, child predators are online Ugh. and they lure kids away from their computer mm -hmm. to go meet up with them. How many of these kids are meeting kids. that type of individual? You write in your book that you've seen statistics indicated that there are somewhere around 2,000 serial killers operating in the United States alone. All summer long, people captivated by the Gilgo Beach murders over the summer in New York, the, a man charged with the murders of three people so far, Melissa Bartholomew, 24 years old, Megan Waterman, 22, Amber Lynn Castillo, 27 years old. He is pled not guilty. Um, there's so many if-thens in this investigation. What are your thoughts on why it took so long? Well, you know, when in this particular case, you're dealing with victims. Some of these victims are involved in the sex work trade, yeah. and they're utilizing the online space. Well, predators go to where the prey are at. Mm. And now what you have is you have an intelligent individual who knows, has the aptitude to use technology to anonymize himself, but be able to physically isolate a victim to cause that victim mm -hmm. harm. So when you're dealing with a sophisticated and intelligent predator, such as a D'Angelo, they try not to leave the clues that law enforcement typically goes after mm. to try to solve the case. This show, again, is Can't Stop, Won't Stop. You will never stop, will you? I won't stop. I'm still working. I'm still actively <laughs> consulting. Well, you know, it's hard. I, in, in TV language, sometimes we say, on a lighter note, this is true or lighter note, your fan base, my goodness, <laughs> there are, there, people want you to be portrayed by Brad Pitt in movies. <laughs> They're telling you, you, I mean, it's all, are you aware of this? <laughs> you know, I'm... Uh, I, I am aware that there's stuff going on out there. I don't pay any attention to it. Oh, I do, and I'm reading about it. <laughs> I mean, I said you are a true hero because of what you do for families, but yeah, you, they're talking about you out there. Look at you blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it, uh, obviously it's flattering. It's better than the opposite, right? Amen. Yeah. Well, thank you for all your work for Thanks. families and victims. Thank you. <laughs> Paul's new memoir, Tam Fam. It is, it's his memoir out on paperback, Unmask, My Life Solving America's Cold Case. It's now available in paperback. And guess what? You're going home with a copy of Paul's heartfelt and sincere look at what his life is like solving crime out in paperback.